First, I would like to thank uh, the organizers, of course, especially in this uh, weird period of Corona. So I will talk about the emergence of translation, uh, namely of what we call coded life uh, via autocatalytic sets. And the idea is not to present a correct model. We don't know what the correct model is, but a minimal model. And this is a joint work with Itai Feierwerker and relying on earlier work with Ilana Agmon. So I'll start with what is life and Schrodinger in a book uh, that came even before uh, we knew about uh, DNA suggested that life uh, requires mainly two things, a code and the idea of active transport, which is responsible for homeostasis. Now, in the beginning, it is difficult to assume that everything existed, uh, evolution and replication and the uh, active transport and the code. So we need some assumptions about the beginning. And one assumption is that compartments are not yet uh, biological. There it could, it, this could be inorganic or organic, but certainly not controlled by the code yet. Then there is a code at the beginning, RNA and not DNA. We will assume that the code came before biological compartments. Replication at the beginning is not with the help of a code, but uh, autocatalysis of molecules. And mutation, evolution, adaptation is actually also of the autocatalytic sets of molecules and not of the code, because the code is not there yet. So input output via compartment walls by active transport we assume not yet. Of course, no replication of the membrane and of course not free cells. So we can call this instead of life, proto-life or pre-life. And we prefer to use the term coded life because we talk about life immediately before and after the code uh, emerge, emerges. We take a computer uh, and information science point of view. So we use letters and strings and we try to have simple rules. Um, so we have two types of letters, P for amino acids, R for nucleotides, and they form P strings, which are peptides and R strings, which are the RNA via backbone uh, bonds. Also there are simple rules uh, such that uh, three letters of R can be translated into a single letter of P. Uh, and also there are uh, uh, parallel bones in addition to the, uh, sorry, perpendicular bones in addition to the backbone. Now, we, again, we do not claim it is the correct model. No one can know what is the correct model, but we aim for a plausible and minimal model. And this is the goal in work that I started already around uh, 2013, uh, and I will mention it a bit later. So because this is the first session, you did not hear yet about autocatalytic sets uh, too much. It will be much more in the third session today. So autocatalytic sets due to Kaufman and later on to Steele and Hosick. Um, we assume yes, no catalysis for simplicity. So for example, in the left side, you see only one molecule A. There, are, there is food, food exists as much as we want. And the process is described by the empty circle and the two lines into the process and outside the process from F to A. And catalysis is with the dotted uh, line. And at the right side, you see uh, two molecules, again, A and B, each one catalyzing the formation of the other from the food molecules. So these, these are the simplest uh, autocatalytic sets that one could imagine. And uh, here I emphasize black circles are the molecules, the actions are empty circles, dotted lines, for uh, catalysis and process lines, uh, this, the standard lines. So initial life means that we need the ability of strings to replicate and the emergence of a code, and then evolution mainly in order to achieve the fixation, fixation of a code. So now we completed the first part because we see that strings can replicate via autocatalytic sets. Um, now, 
for RNA, we would like to see template replication. So R, a string R can be replicated by forming R prime, which is the, um, I don't, under this time pressure, I don't remember the name, but then from R prime, you, you get R again, and you need some catalysis for this, and this, the, catal the, catalyst, the catalyst is C. So we can assume that the catalysis, uh, oh, and the catalysis is again dotted lines, but we add here our definition for template by dot dashed lines. So this is not so typical in autocatalytic sets. Actually, I don't know if it exists, maybe only in our papers. So we will also use template when we translate three letters of R to one P letter, the, the, the translation process in biology. So here uh, we use food and only one copy of R to generate R plus R prime, and then we can use R prime and more food to have another copy of R. Um, now, if C is also catalyzed by molecules in that system, only then it is an autocatalytic set. So for example, C could catalyze itself or be catalyzed by RNA strings or directly from food molecules. But if it is not catalyzed, we cannot call it autocatalytic set. One so, minute, one minute. Uh, wow, okay, I don't know how far I'll reach. So a toy model that we presented in 2015 with Silana Agmon, and we suggested that the proto-ribosome, uh, sorry, that the polymerase is the first peptide, and it is the one that asks for the template, uh, uh, the template replication. Then in 2018, we relied on a work by um, a, in the group of Zostak and Noam Prywes that suggested that RNA could be um, the catalyst for a template replication of RNA strings. So then we needed, a, we had options of other strings being the first peptides and using um, work, wow, I will need to skip almost everything. Okay, so I don't know, in one minute, I don't know what I can say. But anyway, recently uh, we see Lana Agmon, we showed that valine potentially is not an old uh, amino acid as uh, other three and um, gly glycine, alanine and aspartic acid. And later on, only with the uh, Itai Fireworker, we show by looking at five male strings containing coding triplets in the tail of the RNA, that, um, and that valine, uh, without valine, glycine, alanine, and aspartic acid uh, could be the oldest uh, amino acids. And using only these three amino acids and only three peptides, GG, AD, and DGD, this is based on Van der Gulik work and an old result by Shimizu, we could claim that a, co a translation could rely just on these three uh, peptides. Thank you. Okay, we have time for one question. Okay, so we have one question. Are there known molecules that implement this sort of system? For autocatalytic set, it is enough that certain molecules are created just once because then the autocatalytic sets replicates itself, but we do need some food molecules. So for example, uh, I mentioned the Gli Gli Gi Gi, um, and if it is created and just such a simple peptide could be created by chance, then it could uh, form an autocatalytic set by generating the other two uh, very short peptides that are, I mentioned. And this is even before there is a code. And once we used a proto-ribosome, like as, as was shown in the talk, uh, what is prepared in, in Ada Ionat's group, then the same molecules could be uh, generated by translation, which we would give an evolution advantage. Thank you.